Do you think we'll be able to break the seal? We can worry about him later. For now, we need to take the Dragon Orb. No! He's coming with us! It's huge! How are we going to get him out? What if we use that? Is that...? The water mirror. So Mary had told me about it. With this mirror, you can talk to people far away and transport things you put in it. So, if we were to jump in, we could all go back to Midgard. Then let's go! What are you doing here? Stand down. I'm not here to fight. I need your help. Nobody cares what you need. Even to save Silmeria? Odin wasn't the only one Lazard took with him. He has Silmeria as well. We're not fools. You can't trick us that easily. What? Didn't you see it for yourselves? Well, we were a little busy at the time. But you must have seen Lazard use a divine technique against Odin. <laughs> it is a magic which cannot naturally be used by humans, unless they have the necessary knowledge and power. The knowledge in the Philosopher's Stone, and the power of Silmeria. Lazard has created a new world outside of Yggdrasil, and fled there. A new world? The King is seeking to transcend this mortal coil by creating a closed timeline. A new world tree stemming from neither the heavens, the underworld, nor the world of mortals. In other words, independence from the gods. So it's true. They did it. They completed their research in Japan. Yes. He's probably figured out the Sovereign's right as well. We'll have our hands full. Hey, are you thinking about going? Why wouldn't I? I don't care what happens to Odin, but I can't let that madman run wild. Agreed. Release Brahms from his prison, and return the Dragon Orb. Those are our conditions. Humans negotiating with gods? Never! Are you really so ready to die? Wicked beings!
should have run instead of getting mixed up with her. You're mad if you think we gods would stand by while you Ein Hergar slip away. Welcome to the fight. Take care of those two for me. Christ! 
Have you gone mad? I won't stand by while you gods kill my Ein Herjar! Hrist! Stop this! So it has come to this. All I can do is entrust our fate to you. Leneth. Looks like this time, you really did save me. You can thank me if you want. But I did it to save the world, not you. It was the best available option. So... Your heart still sides with Odin. Well... I don't know anymore. Gods don't belong to worlds. Nor do worlds belong to gods. You are finally starting to realize that. As if the undead would know. This is something we should be discussing with Odin and Lazard. How right you are. We should go. Lazard must have already moved on. Imagine a new world. This is it. This entire world is laid out in front of us. There's no going back now. Not to Midgard. Not to Asgard. There is a way. Is that... from the water mirror? The sole window connecting the closed world with ours. Return is possible. However, Asgard also faces inevitable destruction as we speak. If you ask me, Odin wrought this upon himself. Even so, it's us who will be sorry if everything's wiped out. Well spoken. <laughs> the Dragon Orb is here with us, and Gunnir is with Lazard, right? Meaning two of the four treasures that sustain our world are here in this one. Is there a reason why we just don't burn this world to ash with the Dragon Orb? Each time the stabilizing power is used for destruction, the orb grows weaker. If you're willing to say goodbye to Midgard, then go ahead. Screw that.
I sense Lenneth. But why here? <laughs> 